Hi, boys and girls. I'm sorry that this one is going up a little bit late today. I have had so many tef technical difficulties trying to record it, so I'm hoping that this time is the last time. So today we're looking at lesson six. I can interpret the unknown in division using the array model. Fill in the table based on the drawing below. Total number, one, two, three, four, five. And I know that there are five in each of these. That makes five, 10, 15. How many equal groups? One, two, three. How many in each group? Five here, five here, five here. So that means that 15 divided by three equals five. And I'm sorry about the sloppy drawing, but that's just how it goes when you're using a mouse. Okay. Oh, here we go. Draw an array to represent the equation below. Okay, so I'm gonna use stamps to do this. All right, boys and girls, so the way that we use arrays is just like doing equal groups. So if I have 20 divided by five, I'm gonna see how many that's gonna get me. Now, this is already telling me it's going to be four, but I wanna show you how you would do it even if you didn't know the answer. So if I knew 20 divided by five, that means I know I'm going to have five separate sections, right? And I have to fair share to each one until I get to 20. So I've already got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so let's check this out. What is the total? My total is 20. How many are in each row? So remember that rows go side to side. So there are five in each row. And how many are in each column? Columns go up and down. So there are four in each column. So that's how they came up with that answer of four. 20 divided by five equals four. Okay, let's try another one like that. This one is eight divided by two. So I'm gonna grab my stamps again, I'll do stars. Um, eight divided by two. So if I have two sections or two groups, I have to fair share eight between those two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what is the total? There is a total of eight stars. How many are in each row? Rows go side to side. There are two. And how many are in each column? Columns go up and down. There are four. So eight divided by two equals four. Let's try one more example like this. 18 divided by six. So I'm going to create six separate columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I have to fair share the rest of my 18 until I run out. So I have six laid out, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So what is the total? I know I made 18 hearts. How many are in each row? Rows go side to side. There are six in each row. And how many are in each column? Columns go up and down. There are three in each column. So 18 divided by six equals three. So here we're looking at how division equations relate to multiplication equations. So I wanna draw a picture to show you how eight divided by four equals two is gonna to relate to the multiplication equation. So if I wanted to do eight divided by four equals two, I could make four groups, one, oops, let's go back. One, two, three, four. I have to fair share the rest till I get to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so eight divided by four equals two. 
So there are four in each row and there are two in each column. So when we think of multiplication, remember multiplication is rows times columns. So that would mean two times four equals eight. Remember, you can also flip flop these. It could say four times two equals eight. Let's look at 21 divided by seven equals three. This time I'm gonna use um, X's. All right, so I have to make seven columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna fair share the rest of my 21. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So let's check this out. I have three rows and I have seven columns. So to multiply, I would say three times seven equals 20. One. I could also say seven times three equals 21. Again, I'm sorry about this terrible handwriting. Drawing with a mouse is much different than drawing with a real pencil. All right, boys and girls, it is your turn to try this on the problem set. Make sure that you turn it in when you complete it so that I can check it.